Hi everybody, Jen here in my kitchen. Today we're making lentil power bowls. So this is a great big salad that you can make for your family or you can divide it up when you make it on the day into smaller containers and then you've got lunches for the entire week if you like. So we're gonna start with your dried lentils. One cup of dried lentils, I've rinsed them, and go into a pot and then we'll do two cups of fresh water and then these are gonna come up to a boil and simmer for about 20 minutes or until they're tender. We don't wanna overcook them. I'm gonna put some salt in just to flavor them a little bit. And so while we're waiting for our lentils to cook, we're going to make a dressing. So this is a, a variety of fresh vegetables. This is kind of like a Greek style um, salad with your lentils, um, but you can do whatever you want. Um, and then a yogurty dill kind of dressing. So we've got plain, plain yogurt. Do about a quarter of a cup of yogurt. Whoop. Just a little bit of honey. That's about half a teaspoon. I'm just gonna do a little bit of garlic here. This is a really big clove and I don't want it to be too garlicky. I was just going to use a, a small grater just to do a little bit of garlic in the dressing. You can keep it out if you don't like having strong garlic flavor in your dressing or um, if you like more, do as much as you like or mince it up. I'm just going to do a bunch of uh, fresh dill and again to your taste. So if you don't like dill a whole lot, do a little bit or none. Or if you really like dill, make it a green dressing. And I'm going to do the juice of half a lemon. some salt and pepper and then give it a really good mix make sure that honey dissolves and the garlic gets evenly distributed in your dressing And then give it a taste to see whether you want it to have a little bit more salt or pepper, dill, maybe a little bit more lemon. If you find it's a little too strong, add some more yogurt to it. And then we'll set this aside and start um, prepping, just cutting our vegetables up. So our lentils are boiling. We're just gonna turn it down to simmer for about 20 minutes. Okay, so this is gonna be like a salad on top of your salad. So this is a big red onion. I'll probably only do half of it. And we're just gonna dice up the red onion. And some grape tomatoes that I'm going to just cut in halves. If you have young children that find those too big, you might want to put them, cut them into quarters. I've got a bunch of these mini cucumbers. You can use these or you can use a regular cucumber. I just like the, the crunch of these cut off the ends and then I'll cut them in half lengthwise and then again and then they're easier to dice. Now I've got some roasted red peppers here and maybe 
cut up a couple of these. I'm going to put a little extra dill right in this salad. And squeeze the other half of the lemon in here. We can do some more salt and pepper. And a splash of olive oil. And a can of strained and rinsed chickpeas. And that's it, unless you wanted to add some olives or some feta cheese would be nice as well. Give this a toss. And then set this aside until you're ready to assemble your, your bowls. Okay, so when you think your lentils are done, um, if you've kept the lid off, then the water should have evaporated and your lentils should be fully cooked. But give them a try and make sure that they're not still um, starchy and that they taste good. So next would be assembly. So um, I kind of like when the lentils are still warm, especially, you know, on a colder day like today. And I would put a couple scoops of lentils on the bottom of the bowl and then just a little bit of our yogurt dressing on top of that. And then our vegetables and chickpeas. On top. And do another dollop of our yogurt dressing and maybe some extra dill, if that's what you're into. Crack pepper. There you go. That's lunch for me today, and I hope you enjoy this one. Bye.